Hey everybody, Ross at the Mold Guy. We do mold inspections, mold removal, indoor air quality testing throughout the GTA and the surrounding area. Today's video is on window mold. Here in the GTA in Canada, we're in our winter months and people's humidity and temperatures out of control and as a result, we get window mold and our calls just come rushing in. So I thought I'd give you a little insight into when to call and when not to call and when you might need us and when you might not need us. Stand by. All right, we're boiling. We've been boiling for just over 10 minutes. Right now, windows are all fogged up in the kitchen. We've raised the temperature from 18.5 to 25.1, and the relative humidity, we've raised it from 41% to 55%, the top of our desired scale. 35% to 55% is where we'd like to keep our humidity range in the winter. And that was just in just over 10 minutes. So the best way to get rid of the uh, steam, the excessive heat, and of course the off-gassing from natural gas, is use your range hood. The range hood will suck everything up. We'll maintain uh, an equal uh, humidity level and temperature throughout the kitchen. To take about five minutes, all the windows will be defogged and we're good to go. Let's move on to the shower. So we've seen the kitchen demonstration and how cooking, steaming, spikes of humidity, spikes of temperature, but we've also seen how we can get rid of it in a timely fashion. We use that exhaust fan. We're in the bathroom. The, the biggest contributor in a home is the shower. It spikes the humidity and temperature throughout the home, especially in these older Toronto homes with little to no insulation in the walls. And it can be a big issue. So ideally we would like to have an exhaust fan in that bathroom. And ideally that exhaust fan should be on a 60 minute timer because nobody likes the sound of an exhaust fan. So they're gonna shut it off when they leave. It doesn't, and it hasn't done the purpose it was designed for. 60 minutes, you set it, have your shower, walk away, it'll shut everything off itself. If we don't have an exhaust fan, we're left with a few options. Hopefully you have windows. You can open those windows, equalize, the uh, humidity, equalize the temperature relatively quickly. Um, alternatively, a dehumidifier or even a fan blowing around the room to disperse everything into the house and, and equalize. So I'm going to show you now the, uh, how the temperature and how the humidity spikes just with the shower in this room. Stand by. So I'm done my shower. It was a short one, 10 minutes. We started out with a room temperature of 18.5 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 40%. After 10 minutes, we spiked that to 70% and a temperature of 23.5 degrees Celsius. I put the fan on, it's on a 60 minute timer now to clear all the uh, excessive humidity and temperature. I've opened the blinds, the windows were all fogged up and I've, now I'm allowing the air to get at those and dry them out in a timely fashion before they actually start to condensate down onto the sill and start growing mold. Now, let's get uh, to our cleaning. The bathroom, I've taken the screen off of this one window. You can see it's still fogged over the, from the uh, shower. And you can see the mold growth in here that was behind the screen. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our uh, our cleaner of choice. That's right. Good old Windex with ammonia D. And we'll uh, give a little spritz and we'll uh, give the window a quick clean. So as you can see, everything just comes rolling off. These windows are vinyl. Um, not a mold food. Mold's growing on the dirt that washed off the windows and uh, settled at the bottom, but not the wind, not the vinyl itself. But as you can see, it just comes right off. The ammonia kills mold. Done, just like that. 
no special tools, no special cleaners, just good old fashioned Windex. And if it's excessive, you don't have Windex, use bleach, use uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can use vinegar, any, uh, any acidic product, any ammonias, any bleaches, that will get rid of the mold problem. And there you have it. So in conclusion, window mold is routine maintenance with any household cleaner that you would like to clean it with. Um, if it's out of control, if you have an immune deficient system, you might want to get friends or family over to clean it for you. But from then on in, it is just routine maintenance. Make sure your sills stay dry. Make sure you're opening your blinds, your curtains, so that the air can, can dry them in a timely fashion. Uh, you might want to invest in a hygrometer available at the big box stores, around $20, $30. Shows your uh, relative humidity and it shows your temperature. That'll let you know, you know, what times of day you're spiking it when you should pay attention when you might want to dry it. Remember, this is, this is generally a winter, winter problem, just that differential temperature and the condensation. We don't really have these problems in the summer. So if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to call the office. Uh, here's the number. And you can talk to uh, Kay, Brittany, or myself uh, if it's something that uh, you're still um, worried about and it's a little more than you think you can handle. Give us a call and, and we'll walk you through it or we'll come out and, and visit you if necessary. I'm Ross at The Mold Guy. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.